Hey guys, it's LBS Honey, and today I'm going to be attempting to reorganize every single one of my small LPS accessories. For the past few years, I've had these two small containers where I keep my Littlest Pet Shop and Civilian Family accessories. I've had them pretty organized, but recently they've becoming more and more full, and I really just have nowhere to put my accessories anymore. So today, I'm taking it upon myself to reorganize both of these smaller containers into one large container that I bought from Kmart. Here's what we're working with. With. I don't even know where this one's gone so I'll have to find that but as you can see a lot of the LPS ones like don't even close anymore oh my god because they are so full so we really need to like get this under control and these are my civilian family ones these ones are pretty like spacious still but it would be nice to have them both in the same container area. If you live in Australia, you can pick this up from Kmart for about $29. It does come with wall mounts on the back if you want to hang it up, but I'm just going to be keeping mine on the floor because that's the easiest place for me to get hold of my accessories for filming. I have been wanting to reorganize my accessories for ages and I just haven't been able to find a container that was cheap enough and also big enough to replace. So without further ado, let's get started into organizing all of my LPS accessories. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't dreading this a little bit. So our beautiful new storage container is behind me and I forgot to mention they had a blue and a red version. Um, unfortunately they didn't have just like neutral colors so I did get the red one. Holy crap. Okay, these are a lot longer than I thought they'd be. Here's a little length comparison. This is my old one. This is my new one. Now they are thinner but there are a lot more of them. And then you have these giant ones down here, which come with little dividers. I'm in organization heaven right now. Look how big that is. And the little ones have dividers too. Oh Lord. So I'm obviously going to do the smaller drawers first, and then hopefully I can put some of my medium sized accessories in here as well. But first things first, we gotta get all of our small accessories into tiny little piles so they're all categorized nicely. So definitely sit back, relax, maybe put this on in the background while you're doing something and just enjoy the satisfaction of organizing all my LPS accessories. So I did find the missing drawer for my civilian family's container. What I'm going to start out by doing is making a bunch of small piles. So for example, this drawer here is all kind of like sweet items, so lollies, cakes, cupcakes, donuts, stuff like like that. This is obviously going to be its own pile, however I'm hoping to get a bit more detailed with these new containers because there are so many more. Exhibit A, gathering up all of our ice creams instead of just putting them with the rest of the sweet items. Can we also all just agree that taking a cup and an ice cream to make a little hot chocolate was a quintessential part of growing up on LPS tube? Does anyone know what this accessory is? I'm having trouble figuring it out. It kind of looks like a puppuccino, but also like a cake. For now, I'm gonna put it with the cakes, but if anyone knows for sure, let me know in the comments. I've had these three honeycomb lollipops since I can remember. Like, this is my childhood right here. This is in the wrong pile. This is meant to be in the civilian family items, and I think I'm gonna see a lot of this because the drawers have become so full, I've started mixing up accessories just to make them fit. So here are our current piles. I've tried to do the best job I can putting them into categories. So we have ice creams, cakes, lollipops, honey, marshmallows, pies, miscellaneous sweet items, and our little jars of like jelly and jam. Now obviously I'm not going to put everything in its own drawer because there's no point putting three pies in a whole drawer just by itself. So I am going to combine some of these together. So in the end it looks something a bit more like this, two larger groups. Let's see how much we can get in our container. Looking good with tons of room to spare. So for now, I am going to split these up into two separate drawers. However, if I need to combine them, there is definitely the space to do so. 
ta-da let's keep moving forward and getting these drawers done next up is our fruits and vegetables I don't care what anybody says, LPS fruits and vegetables are the most delectable looking morsels I have ever seen in my life. Like I just wanna... In fact, I hate corn, so I need an avid corn eater to answer this for me. Why does the LPS corn have like sprinkles on it? Can somebody please tell me what's going on here? Like do people eat corn with sprinkles? I don't understand. I know people put butter on their corn. That, I can get behind that, that's understandable, but sprinkles? Corn's a vegetable, right guys? I think. Why is this carrot a little, like, zesty? All I've really learned from organizing my fruits and vegetables is that I have too much corn, too many pieces of watermelon. This banana is one of the best accessories Hasbro ever made. That is because not only is it a banana, but it is also a baby bottle for these little baby monkeys. It's so freaking cute. What is this? I don't need this many bowls of corn. Fruits and veggies, donezo. Next up we have savory foods and snacks. That's appealing to me, I'm gonna be honest. The fruits and veggies definitely have a nicer color palette, but there are some killer accessories in here. Case in point, the sushi set. Teeny tiny boba tea. A little LPS bone snack. Steve the fish? Like, come on now. Also, sometimes I mix in my Monster High accessories with my LPS accessories because they fit really well. Like, the colors match, they're a good size, so if you see any odd looking ones like this, just know they're Monster High. Here are our groups. I love small groups combined into two larger ones. Yippee! I feel like this one looks so empty. Like, look how much room I have. I freaking love this oh yeah that's looking good our first row is done and look how many more there is left to go i think you guys have a pretty good idea of what i'm doing here so let's speed things up a little i have two whole containers of drinks because there are so many a lot of the new gen accessories could never stand up to the og g2 lps accessories but this drink here is adorable with a little cat face whipped cream it's just amazing and there are our drinks next up is like bowls and cutlery i guess cutlery items dog food bowls and i also decided to put the popcorn in here because it kind of fit a bit better we got bones the only logical reason i can think for this existing is my horror videos other than that, I don't know why I have this, and I also don't know why there is a boom box in here. I feel like this one's pretty straightforward. It's just bones and like dog bone cookies and stuff, so yeah. We have medical and bathroom items. I'm actually really happy to be separating these because a lot of the time I'm looking for bathroom stuff, but the drawer's filled with medical stuff as well, so it'll be really good to get them in two separate containers now. So this is our bathroom and this is our medical. You guys don't understand how happy I am to finally have these separated. I had way more bathroom stuff than I expected, but I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by that. So the next four drawers are all miscellaneous items that don't really have a place. Either that or they're items I couldn't previously fit in the drawers. As you can see, there's a stethoscope here, which I can now put with the medical items. So these four boxes are going to take a lot more organizing because they are all just kind of jumbled up and pushed in where I could find space. So pray for me and I will come back when I have organized these into some neater piles. So our piles are looking good, but I wanted to show you guys one accessory I found in here. And that is this teeny tiny LPS bag. I don't remember where this came from, so if anyone knows the specific set, please do let me know in the comments, but I love it. It's like a tiny version of the kind of iconic Lilith Pet Shop bag that we've seen in so many series. But it's a, it's a teeny tiny one. Here's a look at our miscellaneous drawers finished. Because some of the accessories are quite large in terms of small accessories, you kind of do have to split it up more between the containers. But I'm pretty happy with how they all turned out. In this one, we have electronics and kind of like hobby items. This one here is kind of like internal items and stuff like rope, dog toys, all that. This one here is trophies, signs, kind of bulkier items. This one is shovels, buckets, outdoor items. This one's some more outdoor items kind of geared towards more camping and nature. And this one again is more outdoor items like baskets, fire hydrants, 
uh, letter boxes, all of that. Overall, I think they're all fairly well organized, so I'm gonna put them into our large container now. And with these done, that is all the LPS accessories. So now I can start on the civilian family ones. Looking nice and well organized. As you can see, I have majority of the second last row and the last row for my civilian family items, which I do have less of, so they shouldn't take up as much room as the LPS accessories. But if I need it, I also have these big containers down the bottom. Here's the civilian family's drawer. It's laid out pretty similar to the LPS drawer where we have like refrigerated items, we have like breads and vegetables, sweet items. Down here we have bathroom and medical items if y'all can see that. So it's a pretty similar layout. I'm not gonna go into as much detail with these because I didn't grow up with Surveillance Family. I bought these for my LPS videos so they don't hold that nostalgia that LPS accessories do that I used to get when I was a kid. But of course, I'm still gonna show you guys what I'm doing and what's going into each container. So much like the LPS, we're gonna start off with these sweet items here. You can see Surveillance Family's really focus on the teeny tiny accessories so hopefully I should be able to fit a lot more in the containers. Super confused as to why I put crutches in here but they're actually marshmallows on sticks so my mistake. Here's our two containers. The one on the right is things like pies, cakes, cupcakes, donuts, kind of like your heavier desserts I guess. And then the one here on the left is your ice creams, lollies, macarons, chocolates, all of that. Next up we have breads, fruits and vegetables. I kind of lumped all of these together because LBS accessories don't have a lot of bread themed items so I never needed a place for them but Surveillance Families they do so I just loved them with the fruit and veggies but now I can give them their own container. Here they are. I don't know why my camera's gone super bright all of a sudden but hey I'm not complaining. I managed to put all of our fruit and vegetables in one container because there actually isn't a lot when it comes to Surveillance Family um, and put all of the bread and savory items in the other so I can honestly fit a lot more in here if I needed to. Okay, said surveillance family focuses a lot more on the smaller items so we have a lot of like refrigerated items things that you wouldn't see in LPS accessories like wine and eggs and like cartons of milk very cool detailed stuff if you're trying to make LPS videos definitely this one was pretty well organized and a simple transfer however there were some slices of pizza that I needed to remove and add to this one but other than that it was pretty good so it's two full containers of cutlery, pots, cooking utensils, all of that. This one here is more like plates, knives, and those kind of items, where this one here is more kitchen utensils. So I think this will also be a pretty straightforward swap. However, there are some items I need to move around, like this one has a pot in it when it shouldn't. Um, so yeah. Also, yes, I put paint in this for one of my short films and just forgot about it, and now it's just permanently painted so that there's that oh lord there is a lot to get through looking pretty good we have our miscellaneous cooking items our utensils such as knives forks spoons plates cups and then our cooking utensils so our pots pans trays all of that so we have bathroom and medical items. Once again, I'm hoping to split this into two different categories unless there's not a lot of one. So bathroom in one, medical in the other, unless, you know, there's just not enough to do that. Then I'll just keep it as one container. Definitely isn't a huge amount of bathroom stuff, but I can definitely make a container out of it and still put more in here. So I am going to leave them as two separate drawers, my medical one and my bathroom one. That means I actually only have one small drawer left and for this one I'm actually going to be putting my household items inside. This is things like phone, lamps, paintings, books, etc. The reason I'm choosing to do that particular drawer is that the remaining four I have left are all miscellaneous items. They don't really have a theme, especially this one because there's even some LPS accessories in there that I couldn't fit. So these ones going in the bigger drawers isn't that much of a worry to me because they never really had a theme to them in the first place. And there you have it, a successful swap over. There's a look at all of these smaller drawers filled up. I honestly couldn't be happier and I'm so glad that I was able to separate some accessories that I've really been wanting to split up 
for a long time. Like I said, I have a lot of miscellaneous civilian family items. So we're going to sort them out and put them in these big containers. I'm hoping to take up at the most two containers of miscellaneous items and then I'll have a few spare for other new accessories to go in there. And there they are. This one is filled with very large items such as like a wedding cake, big baskets, even a small civilian family's house. And this one here has very large cooking utensils like miniature ovens. It also has baby accessories and then also some LPS accessories that I couldn't really fit anywhere else such as TVs, big lol surprise bottles, stuff like that. So with these two big drawers filled, I have seven more drawers still available to fill up. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to put in there because I've never really had this much space for my small accessories. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. So there you have it guys, all of my small LPS accessories have found their new home in my collectible drawers. I am so happy with this set and so glad that I can fit so much in it and still have room for more. I've kind of been debating in my head whether or not I should move some of my clothing accessories in here as well because they are kept in a separate container but that is also getting pretty full so maybe that's what I could do with these spare drawers but again like I said let me know what your suggestions are in the comments down below let's take one more look at this beautiful LPS collection of accessories So there you have it guys, all of my small accessories now have a permanent home which is so nice and organized. I really love sharing these things with you guys because for the longest time my accessories were just kind of thrown in a box and had no like layout or anything and they were just so hard to sort through. So hopefully you guys found this enjoyable and maybe gave some inspiration for yourself sorting out your own accessories or even just relaxing. I like videos like this, like unboxings and like organizing and customizing. That kind of stuff really relaxes me and I often put it on in the background while I'm doing other things. So hopefully I was able to do that for some of you guys today. Thank you all so much for sticking by me through my jaw issues that I've been having. I promise you guys the video videos that I have been talking up for so long are coming out. Um, it's just been difficult talking and a video like today is a lot easier for me to make than a video where I'm doing 20 different voices and like straining myself. So I hope you all understand and you guys have been understanding. I have to thank you all so much. The comments I've been getting have been so sweet. So that's everything. Like I said, if you're interested in the container I got to store my accessories, you can pick it up at Kmart in Australia. If you guys enjoyed this video, like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. I hope you have an amazing new year, and I will see you with a new video in 2024. Bye guys!